All right, this is a sample, an example rather, of the early homos, early man. This is a Homo erectus boy called the Lake Turkana boy, found it about one, uh, one and a half million years ago he died. And notice, if you will, how incredibly well put together. This is, by, by the way, the, the most complete early uh, hominid that we have. And he was stood about 5'8 at the age of 12. He's called the Lake Turkana boy because he was a boy. His molars had not erupted, so he's considered to be about 12. He's 5'8. He's going to grow to 6'2", 6'6", whatever, when he gets... He's going to be big. He's going to be big, and is he going to be strong? Every one of his bones are so robust and thick compared to ours. Every one of his bones at 12 years old is bigger and stronger than any bone in Arnold Schwarzenegger's body. This is a powerful kid. Now, what's that all about? What's Lucy's big bones all about? What's his big bones all about? It's the amount of strength that their muscles can generate. The thickness of your bones is a function of the power that your muscles can generate, the torque they can apply to the bones. What's the point of having bones that are going to snap under the strain that your muscles can create for you? Now also understand that is nothing but a primate body and primate strength. Primates are five to ten times stronger than we are pound for pound. Any primate. Anybody that's had a pet monkey knows what I'm talking about, how incredibly strong they are for those skinny little arms they have. That is primate strength. These are primate bones. Furthermore, notice, he has that incredible extra length in his arm, and you really see it here. Some of Lucy's was chewed off, and you don't see a good placement of hers. But here you see it, and what it means is his fingertips dangle down around his knees. And that's the story with all pre uh, so-called pre-humans. Their arms are too long. Their arms are dangling down around their knees. Their arms are the arms of the Miocene apes. They're about the same size as their legs. Essentially, nothing has changed for like 20 million years in their bodies. You with me? Okay, next slide. All right, same thing with the Neanderthals. And this was supposed to be our kissing cousins up until just recently when it was proven that uh, genetically we, we don't have anything to do with them. But up until then, these were our kissing cousins. And look at the difference. A fingertip of a Neanderthal and a human, a thigh bone of a Neanderthal and a human. Look at the thickness of the power of the muscle strength that this thing could generate in order to have a bone like that. There's no comparison. How could anybody look at this and think that there's some kind of a link between the two? And now we know that there's not. This is a primate, again, just an upright walking primate through the Neanderthals. We're something different. Next slide. So what we see from this diagram of early humans coming into the humans is the differences. You see that, the, as you see, the arms dangle down around the knees, in every case relative to ours. You have these upside down triangle rib cages relative to our nice oval. This is all very primate. Bones are very thick relative to ours. And the heads have the same things that we saw earlier, the lack of a forehead, big round night vision eyes, big wide noses, nasal passages, and uh, mouths that stick off their face, and lacking chins, it's sloping back, it's hard to tell. But also, too, you, you see the extra length in the neck. Their heads are, are kind of tucked down in their bodies like this. They, they are not built the way we are. They're built like primates. See, chimp heads and gorilla heads, all of them have, all of them have primate bodies. The only thing is, they're walking upright. So science has to call them pre-human because they can't call them post-Miocene apes. They have to connect them with humanity. Why? Because it doesn't leave us any place on the flowchart of life on Earth if they don't. So they're desperate to always link any pre-human to humans. And there's really no fair link to make. Next slide. 